welcome back to my channel. So today um, we are doing kind of like a prep with me, kind of like a shop with me type thing. So here's the backstory, right? Zuri is starting school a little bit early considering that um, where we live, which is New York, like the kids don't really start school for the school year until after Labor Day, but the school that she is going to, they start earlier, they're a private school, and um, being as though she's just starting like real school, um, they have all of the kids on half days for the first couple of weeks. So she's officially starting school, technically. I call it technically because really her first full day of school isn't for a couple of weeks, but she has homework due on Monday. So <laughs> it's a technicality she is starting actual school. So if you've watched my channel for some time, you know that we were homeschooling. Um, that's changed in the past like year. Not really, because they were homeschooling for the school year last year. This year, they are going to actual schools. Um, the reason being is that now, over the past year, as I have been a single mother and I have tried to homeschool as a single parent, it's a little bit too difficult. Um, I'm not saying that nobody can do it. I'm just saying that for you to be able to successfully homeschool as a single parent, you need like a village. This is just parenting in general, you need a village. I don't have that. <laughs> it's solely me, I have had my children for over a year now, 24 seven consecutive. I'm not saying that they haven't gone to their grandparents' house um, every so often, but not when I needed them to, you know, like if I had like an appointment, I had to drag them with me, anything else, they had to come with me, um, so, as a single parent, I have had no personal time, none, not, not an ounce, not a, not a single ounce of personal time. Um, also, the times that they have gone to their grandparents' house has never been like fully planned out. It was just like, I want to go to grandpa's house. I'm like, all right, bye. So um, being able to plan my life accordingly has not gone well over the past year and so that is the reason why sometimes you guys see me upload consistently and sometimes you guys don't see me upload for like a month because real life my mental health has been struggling um having them with me non-stop literally non-stop then they're all at the ages where they fight they bicker they you know it's i have a headache even thinking about it so also trying to homeschool as a single parent different grades um as well as i have a new baby still technically because she's still under a year it's been a circus literally it's been a circus so i am giving myself some grace and i'm sending them to school so that during the daytime i now have time to focus more on this channel focus more on every other business opportunity that I've had that um, has been like either rushed because I have to wait till like last minute to get it done or you know just stuff comes up so I have more time during the day to properly plan out and plan accordingly also I have more time solo with just me and the baby um, we haven't really had too much one-on-one -on -one mommy baby time since she's been born because I've had the other two um, consistently you know they don't go with their fathers we don't have any sort of custody arrangement that's you know a story for another video but yes that's the case so they are going to school so like I was saying in the beginning Zuri is starting early early as in like <laughs> Today I'm filming this, this is Saturday, and she's starting Monday. I've known this for a couple of weeks that she was starting this early. Um, however, here's the situation. So she has to wear school uniform for, you know, basically every school day. And um, the school paid for the first uniform for every child. 
So we received the uniform and everything. The only thing that we did not receive was like tights, socks, shoes, stuff like that, which we had to purchase. We also received her book bag, right? Um, so her backpack was paid for by the school because it's a uniform backpack. Like she can't just get like a regular backpack from like Walmart or something. It has to be the uniform one with the school name on it and everything. It's whatever. So there's that. <laughs> um, however, when looking at the uniform online initially, they said that the girls could only wear the jumpers, like the dress or skirt or whatever you want to call it. And they have now updated to the girls can wear pants or shorts. Um, being as though the pants and shorts are cheaper than the jumper, I'm going to go out and purchase her some pants and shorts. I'm also going to see if this store has some more of her uniform shirts because we do only have the one i did try to order more but because all the parents are doing the first free uniform they're on back order we're not going to get them for a while so i'm going to try to see if i can get like a temporary shirt i know it's probably not going to have the logo because of where we're going but in the meantime at least it'll be you know if, if i put it under her jumper you won't see the logo anyways so there's that um also they changed the color of the tights on me. Uh, initially it was white, now it's navy blue. So I gotta go pick up navy blue because I picked up all white. Listen, it's an uh, experience um, coming from homeschooling for quite a few years to now having to conform to what the schools want is like, <laughs> sorry ma'am, you want a red folder specifically? But anyways, that's a whole other thing. So I do have to run um, to the store. So you guys are going, going blah, 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 blah. you guys are going to come with me today on that adventure. Um, I could go to the mall and go to like Old Navy Children's Place and get that type of stuff. However, where I live, which is Queens, New York, there is a place called. Okay, here's the dilemma. Now it's called Downtown Jamaica. Okay, gentrification but when I was growing up we just called it Jamaica Avenue or the Ave really is like what we used to call it the Ave so um, that's where we're going they have a lot of like discount uniform specific stores and oh also also her lunchbox has to be a plain lunchbox I have like a couple of lunchboxes in the house already for her um, can't bring them because they have to be plain they have to look like the uniform so there's that <laughs> um so yeah let me stop rambling so much we're kind of getting ready but miss i don't know if you can see her is she here where is she she's right there ah miss grumpy pants needed a nap <laughs> she was driving mama crazy so she needed a quick nap, which is good because it'll help me get a couple more things ready before we gotta go. I gotta clean up from breakfast and all that type of stuff. So um, we're gonna run out to the store. You guys are gonna see that. I'm probably gonna stop at Aldi because they just built Aldi over there, hashtag gentrification again. But I'm not all the way mad because where I was going for Aldi was like way further away. But they, I mean, it's just one thing when you grow up somewhere and you've seen it one way as like your whole life and then now it's like they tore down everything and just made it all nice and it's like what is this i'm not used to this but yeah we're probably gonna stop at aldi to get her a couple of like snacky items for um her after school snack her school provides breakfast as well as lunch but i don't know if they're going to be doing lunch this week and next week because they're only on half days. So I'm not a thousand percent sure, but I do want to at least pack her a snack if um, they're not doing lunch. So then she's not like starving by the time I pick her up and then I can just give her lunch when we get home. So that's the plan y'all. So um, let me go get my life together real quick and I will meet y'all back here when we get to the store. Okay, so first thing is she needs some bike shorts for underneath. But why don't they have like all black or just black and gray? You gotta have all these colors. Oh my god. 
about the bike shorts, $7.99. So I'm gonna go look over here for some plain Okay, ones. so they got these just regular like play shorts. So I think I'm gonna get these. Yeah, and then here's all the tights. So one, two, three, four to six. Two pairs. I'm gonna get two packs. Alright, so this is the color shirt that we need, but it has this like little scallop around the thing, and that's not what her uniform's supposed to look like. So I'm just gonna grab one for now. And that'll be for just like if we need it. I should probably grab like a size down though. She's very teeny. So yeah, I'm just gonna grab one for shorts. I don't know. I don't think they're supposed to have this little like belt thing, but I don't know. I don't even see like a size five, six, no. All right, let me keep looking. I see these ones. These are like close to what she's supposed to wear. So I'm going to grab one of these and then I'm gonna grab some pants. All right, so these are the only one pair that I could find that's a five because everything else is either like a four or a six. So let me just make sure, yeah, that's a five. Okay. Now last is socks, but I am only seeing the ones that are mixed with white. And are these black or are these navy? I've seen so much navy that everything looks black now. Oh my God. She could also wear these, but I don't really want to do that so I'm gonna go ahead and get these even though it comes with a white yeah even though it comes with a white I'm gonna grab these so just gotta look for her size and then I think that's it because I just see like plain lunch boxes that have everything on it so I'm just gonna have to order her lunch box off the website all of the hair stuff I'm definitely gonna get some just because it'll save me on time later on. For sure. Even though there's like no orange, but the blue and white should be good. Get a couple of these. Yeah. But yeah, they have a bunch of hair stuff. And $70 later, we come out with this little bag. I swear the school's gonna kill me. So now we're in Aldi. Like I said, we're only really here for snacks. I'm gonna try to stick with that because I have a HelloFresh box coming this week because I've partnered up with HelloFresh for a review video. So I'm not trying to overcrowd my fridge, but trying to make sure I get what I need while I'm in the area. All right, so I'm grabbing more muffins while they still have them because these were a hit. So I'm getting some strawberries, some banana, blueberry, and chocolate. I've never seen this in here, guys. I don't know if this is like comparable to Ezekiel bread. If it is, let me know and I will get it next time. I don't want to like get a whole thing and then nobody eats it. So just let me know if this is like a ZD over. I was gonna get these individual bags of chips, but then I remembered that I just bought reusable Ziplocs. So I'm going to be environmentally friendly and get just these bigger bags. Plus it's cheaper, so. So I was watching Taylor Elmore's grocery haul this week and she mentioned how they don't have the taco shells in her Aldi anymore. They have the kit, but they only have the shells in my Aldi and I kind of wanted the kit. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. I keep seeing these things, these mini cookwares, and I wonder if they can go in the air fryer. Cause if so, these would be great for like mini pizzas in the air fryer and like one or two cookies. Cause some nights it'd be like that. Oh, look at the mini muffin pan. Oh, I think this is probably like too long to go in that air fryer, but it's still cute. Okay, y'all, so this is what I ended up actually getting. So like I said, I was getting the muffins. I did get the blueberry, the chocolate chip, banana, and strawberry. These, the last time I bought them, I just bought the strawberry and banana, and they're already gone. And I think that was like a week ago or something, because even Zaylee eats these, so... I'm trying to stock up, but I think I'm never gonna fully stock up unless I go to BJ's or Costco and get that huge box, but then they only come in one flavor. So there's that. You saw me get the puffed, uh, what are these? Like, I wanna say Cheetos, but they're not Cheetos. They're like cheese puffs. Um, I got these in the freezer section. These are avocado chunks. So these I'm going to be keeping in the freezer for making avocado toast for me and Zay 
because we're the only two that will eat that. And hindsight, I probably should have grabbed way more just in case they are a seasonal item because I don't remember seeing them before. Um, found these in the freezer section also. These are pub style cheese filled pretzel sticks. I've never tried them, so I just grabbed one box that we can try them at some point this week, maybe this weekend for like movie night or something, I don't know. Grab two blocks of cheese, one Swiss and one Colby Jack because I have a recipe that I needed cheese for anyways. And so I figured while I was already there, I may as well grab it. These carne asada packs, they finally had it at my Aldi. So I grabbed two. These are gonna go straight in the freezer. They're not gonna be used anytime soon. Um, hopefully before summer's out, I can maybe get like two more packs and have it stocked up for winter because these are great for like Chipotle bowls. Um, we love steak Chipotle bowls. So these are amazing and as it says, tacos, fajitas, salads, all that type of stuff. These are amazing. Um, these are like all these versions of Rice Krispie treats. Zuri wanted fruit gushers. She cannot take these to school because they don't allow candy, but she can have them in the house. So I got a box of Capri Sun. I know her school gives her like milk and water and stuff like that, but I just grabbed one box of the Capri Sun for just in case. Um, I did Google while I was there that you can put these in the air fryer. They said anything that is oven safe is also air fryer safe. So I grabbed the mini pizza pan. I know it probably looks big on camera, but it's little. It's a mini pizza pan and the mini cookie sheet for my air fryer. And then I found this in the Aldi's Finds. This is strawberry rhubarb fruit spread and it just sounds amazing. I love strawberry rhubarb. It'll be Zaylee's first time trying it. So we're probably gonna do like some strawberry rhubarb toast or crackers or whatever at some point this week. So this is everything that I grabbed from Aldi. And then this is everything that we got from the uniform store. So I know in the video I showed you different socks, but I found these little ones and these are much more fitting for her and they're all navy. So I grabbed two packs while I was there. I know I said I wasn't gonna get any of these, but I found some that were kind of cute and they were smaller. So I grabbed one of these knee length socks I got two of the two pair packs of tights, grabbed her one of these play shorts because she's really not gonna need that too often. I grabbed one pair of shorts. Again, she's really not gonna need that too often. One pair of pants for now. I will go back before the weather turns too cold and get her a couple more pants, as well as some long sleeve shirts. I grabbed one more of this short sleeve for right now. This one is just gonna be for her jumper, like her dress because it doesn't have the school logo and it has like this frilly collar and I don't know if that's really allowed. So underneath the jumper, they're probably not gonna notice as much as if I put it with the pants. And then I got some hair stuff. So I got these two packs of bows because in case I do like two little ponytails, I can have, you know, all that or whatever. I don't know. Um, grabbed these hair ties because we're actually out of hair ties and I needed some anyways. So this was really handy. And then I got some bobos that are like, the bluish and white color so it won't clash with her uniform and yes guys this this i know as much as it doesn't look like it was this was 70 dollars right there i know i never show my receipt but yes that's yeah and i don't understand how and this is not even everything that she's gonna need for the school year because like i said i have to go back for cold weather items as well so I don't know, but that's what I got for now. So yeah, y'all, that's everything for back to school that I'm going to need to buy so far. That's so far. Um, I don't have to buy school supplies, thank God, because the school is providing all of their supplies. Um, they're providing them with a Chromebook as well as a stylus. There's only like a $100 safety deposit for that, um, but we don't actually have to go out and buy it. Um, we don't have to buy pencils, notebooks, none of that random stuff that they used to have people buy the school is providing that <laughs> um so yeah uh, my plan is to just for christmas time get both of her teachers like an amazon gift card to make up for the fact that you know i know teachers buy a lot of supplies out of pocket and all that type of stuff so i definitely want to buy them some amazon gift cards for christmas so every week I'm just gonna save up a certain amount for them and whatever it comes to by Christmas time, that's how much they'll be getting for their Christmas gift. So yeah, that, I think that's pretty much everything covered in this video. And I will let you guys know how the first day of school goes. I plan on vlogging, but you know, real life gets in the way sometimes and I don't get a chance to also. 
I'm planning on vlogging for tomorrow to do a Sunday setup, so you'll probably see that video after this video. And um, I will be doing Zuri's hair for back to school, so if you want to see how that looked, stay tuned. So yeah, <laughs> a lot of plans, a lot of plans. Let's see how much of it actually gets done. And uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and end that vlog here, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If nobody told you today, you're absolutely beautiful and I love you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.